I said begin, not load. There we go. I had to reinstall the game. It's a, it's definitely a quick playthrough. It's a great story, so I just want to play it because I own it. So there's no reason not to. Yeah, dude, there's a giant game list. Um, there's also a lot of other things. Did you, did you see the rank list? She's a massive fucking rank list. Oh, nice. That's good. Glad you, glad you got some good sleep. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. <laughs> That's epic. <laughs> I don't blame you for that. Should definitely remember that. Remember that one for some time. Epically evading a squirrel. It's fantastic. You ran it over anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Wow. Wow, this guy has no clue whatsoever is basically what I'm getting. I don't I, I don't remember the beginning of this very well. Why does the world have to be so complicated? If I whatever furball whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. <laughs> <laughs> write that on your report <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and then they lock the wrecked car. <laughs> How thoughtful of you. <laughs> it's, just it's nuts. It's totally what it was doing. You're absolutely right. Cucumbers. I don't even. <laughs> what was that? I forgot. This game also has a good sense of humor. <laughs> Not a boulder, that's for sure. It was clearly made of rubber. Hey Davy, how you doing this morning, man?
I can do better. Wow. I'm oh, drowsy. Uh oh. Something dead me out. Evil. Night shifts. Love him or hate him. You know the answer to that, you stupid owl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're so mean to each other. I love it. It's probably going to be an all nighter, you know. I know. Sorry, you're kind of drowsy, man. I made some tea and I got some oatmeal. I'd share it if I could. And I doubt they'll have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. <laughs> Not that you're blathering, they won't. Wow. I don't get paid enough for this. Of course you don't. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosen are Rosalind, I presume. <laughs> Blaze is all about the coffee. He he drinks like three pots a day, so I've been told. It's coming on such short notice. It's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. <laughs> children! It's my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so. Johnny wants us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. If it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He just prefers to be called that. But don't forget the equipment, because you're going to have to carry it. There we go. That's what I thought. I don't actually know that he drinks that much, it's just what I've been told. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first, let's play the melody. These are pretty good for their age. They are. I was just thinking that. Way to point out the obvious. Um, hey, you're the one who said oh, there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of the small metroid. <laughs> Our meteoroid. <laughs> That's funny. How much do you actually drink? How much coffee? Because I'm betting I you usually are going to get coffee constantly. It 
it'll just take a moment. Who cares if refills are free? he doing not well if I were to say so he's got just a day or two left that's plenty of time so you can you two can grant him any wish huh try at least but we always succeed because we're awesome so what's the wish the moon <clears throat> he wants to go to the moon the geezers just keep getting crazier I'm like wow so can you do it it depends. She meant to say yes. Tell us about our client. I don't really know much. John is an odd man, though the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. Wow! Would have known more if I was his paper boy. It's harsh. I should just do your thing. I suppose if you look around the house, you might find more info. Is he leaving a blood print on his chair? That's fabulous. One cup in the morning. <laughs> you know. That used to be uh that used to be Davy's motto as well. If I'm not twitching it's not the coffee's not working right. He used to drink quite a bit of coffee as well. Show you around, they'll probably be at the piano downstairs. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna look around because I can. All the pizza, all the time. Nothing in this room. I mean, it's only his personal bathroom. Why would there be anything in there that I care about? Oh, hey, books. Oh, excuse me. A selection of medical journals. Painting of the lighthouse by the cliffside. 
Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Okay. So those are like all generic except for the lighthouse. I have something for you. Okay. What you got? What you want? Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was going to ask for it. All right. I wasn't going to ask for it. <laughs> the character lies. A little convincing. Oh, kids. Oh, uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Yeah, okay, that's gonna happen. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Or that. There's a shiny candy cane on top, on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. I'll put it there to save it. For when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour of the house. Say, well... Oh. <clears throat> there are no more than five other bad galleries. Still better than one. Okay, deal then. Is it the model because you're like that kind of refined? Is that what that is? Okay, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean, funny room? Let's see, it's weird. It's gonna be a sex dungeon! You need to get the keys, though. The young man hid them inside a book in his study. Uh, this is either the kitchen or the study. Uh, I'm not really sure much. Oh, kitchen. I'm not giving you the candy cane. Because I made the other guy promise to give you candy canes, apparently. Because I'm a liar. Here we go, study. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okay. I got this. Or the saved room key. Thanks for the host. Turn the lights for you trip over something. 
chest is locked. Well, that. Yes. Animorphs books. Wow. That's kind of a, a funny thing to have, but okay. Probably means something. Cabinet filled with dusty books. What else we got? Filled with china. Boxes filled with colored papers. Chest is locked. Stop locking your shit. It's like a cave in here. A stuffed toy platypus. Take it. And wrap it folded out of paper. Broken music box. So, it's a lot of rabbits folded out of paper. I'm just saying. Also, the creepy music. Davey's not into games, he likes picture books. He had a little accident when he was a kid. I'm just playing around. He's weird about what type of games he likes is, is really what I mean to say. He's, he's very picky. Yeah, okay, you're totally gonna be that new, the guy who's like, huge into fighters. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you wanna see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Let's go see the lighthouse. To the lighthouse! Let's go check out the old lighthouse. Yay! Cutie! What's up, hon? How you doing this morning? Crap! I forgot my parachute. It's fantastic. I'm alright. I could have used more sleep, but uh, I instead uh, opted to find another streamer to go watch last night and then didn't sleep. Because. Yeah. Alright, so we are heading to the lighthouse. My novelty beach ball. I thought I lost it. Stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. <laughs> Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. Pretty dark out, aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We were to roleplay it away. What? 
Tommy's a super powerful knight, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's uh, that's nice. Do you role play too? I uh, nope. <laughs> She's not cool enough to do it. Yes. <laughs> I could if I wanted to. <clears throat> Just you children watch. Uh oh. I have a feeling this is going to be terrible. Wow. I did not remember this part of the game. <laughs> you guys should call the cops. Be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> it's David Teddy. Uh, I don't know when this game released, honestly. Let's just forget this happened. <laughs> There's a bird. Can I attack the bird? <laughs> Hey, stay focused. How you doing, man? The story, though, it's it'll get you if you guys stay for this whole thing. I'm I, I'm telling you now. By the end of this story, you'll just be like, "What just happened? Why?" <laughs> Hold on. What is over there? Memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles. She's his wife. Don't know. Come on. The lighthouse is right here. Oh, yeah. Climbing the lighthouse stairs. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have a spiral staircase, because that would totally make sense. There's more rabbits. A multicolor rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? Well, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an old hobby, though. It's one. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Take the rabbit before you go! This is the way. Come on, let's head back. Took the paper rabbit. You actually just deliver things. He's, like, he's obsessed with this game. You literally just play a... You, you drive a semi-truck. It's not a bad game. Don't I, the, I, I'm making it sound like it has like a bad connotation. Oh, why don't you... Don't you be late another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. We got caught up in something. I got caught in something too. It's called my j or our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late. 
just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course you are, because I'm confident. I'm a dick. Your helmet's on the couch. <laughs> this should be the last accessible memory. Stable speech for all except Johnny. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse forward to the top of the screen. There we go. Position in time. I am going to guess that he's out of the lighthouse, if this is the most accessible memory. I am wrong. I am wrong. Hey, Mikhail, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. Oh, this must be with his wife. Right. My name is Dr. Ellen Rose, and this is... Dr. Lorenzo Von Matter. Wow. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Get us some tea. I want some tea. Oh, wait, I have some. <laughs> Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. If you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. It's just a program. Wow. I know, but this is the last accessible memory. We need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? Nope. I don't. You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes. I suppose I had a good run. 
not good enough. He's like, wow, these terrible people. And these guys die, and it's like, you sucked at life. <laughs> That's basically what he just said. That's bad. Uh, so, can you do it? Yeah, I use all the expensives. Can you take, can you take me to the moon? Ah, uh, we can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. He <laughs> doesn't know. That's, well, that's useful. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want fame, the money? You've got to have a motivation. Motive. I put, I put an ending on that because I could. I just do. That's no help. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. He said ass. They cost. They were like using terror, like terrible, meaningless words. Throw a fuck in there. Come on now. Make it more enjoyable. I promise. Nevertheless, Shani, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Interesting. <clears throat> Which you've given us the permission to do in relative in the relative future. Alright, I'll take it. <clears throat> Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need a, need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. <laughs> it's such a smart act. The point is, you'll need to have more say than just I don't know. <laughs> you tiptoe. Think of the children that you've killed, Davy. I don't know. It sounded good. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap from memory, we need an item of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? Do the rabbit. <laughs> Receive note, moon. We'll need to prepare this first memento. Prepare it. The memento can now be activated for traversal. <laughs> there we go. We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. <laughs> so your privacy means nothing. <laughs> That's exactly what she just said. 
I mean, they are your memories, so... Oh, we didn't even go that far back. Like, barely went back at all. Suck. Turn off his ability and interactivity. I, it'd be messy to be seen. Keeping me out, we probably should have checked his record for sec first. Don't if we have to explain our presence to him in every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. I feel like the backpack should give me something, but it's not. So I'm clearly missing something. Oh, the clock. That's the clock. Yeah! Umbrella? Ah, oh, the umbrella. We throw things at it. That's how we that's how we do this. <laughs> oh, he really just said that. There was there was a Hadouken that just got thrown out. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> was that what? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I just... Duh. Activate. Yeah. Yeah, he totally did when he threw the last one. He said, he said, Hadouken, you missed it. You totally missed it. I, f I thought you would like that. If you were paying attention, you would have been like, oh, yeah. It comes to rain, though. It's better than... I don't mind it regardless. It seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. It's going to be the plat- oh, I thought it was going to be the platypus. I got excited. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. <laughs> 
Hmm. The world's not big enough for the two of you. Oh, harsh. Harsh. I'm not rewinding. It's finished, River. Uh oh. Like you, I'll be able to watch over here. Over her every day. Hmm. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone, who is going to watch over us? <laughs> Be kind. Wow, you guys. Who are you? My name is Eve. Uh, I was just passing by. Is she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Why did you, like, go to the top, though? You insinuated that you were climbing the lighthouse while I was there. Why did I have to see that? You suck. About time you got here. Whew. Almost f thought you fell off the cliff. What are you doing? Enjoying the scenery, what else? Any luck here? Big luck, huge. Dinosauric. That's, is that a word? I don't think that's a word. This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse, what do you expect? Anyways, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun rebreaking the barrier. Yourself. Wow. All right, just enough. As we prepare for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? Now I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie.
Why do you try to convince me against my will? <clears throat> we need the money for your medical bills. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this, this is just too much. And she, she isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy? Do you? Hmm. I do. I just hope you can help me with it. When the papers for my dream are get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant me my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live here, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. <laughs> I'll be happy. We still haven't gone that far. Yes, I made this. Oh, that's the two-tone rabbit. Tell me what it is. What the what? Your mo what's with the monkey with its tongue sticking out? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. What else? Uh, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? <laughs> okay. I wrote a song for you. Okay. Oh, I suddenly just remembered, like, the the beginning of this, or, like, the ending of this. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did I play this game? Well, would you like to hear it? Oh, I'm going to have that, like, <laughs> floating around my head for the entire, like, time we're playing this, because I know the ending, and it's... Oh. Why did I play this? <laughs> I was pretty upset after finishing it last time. Yes. I think you can use a controller with Blade Symphony. <clears throat> Actually, I know you can. I just don't. Symphonia. You didn't have to bring the piano here. I can hear you just fine with the door open. Call forever. Why so cliche? <laughs> it's just a placeholder. Who's this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep his promise after all? Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. It's not that bad. Although, I might switch over to a controller because... Switching, um between the different, like, uh, fast, balance, and heavy might be the easiest on a controller. It's actually really hard to, chill, to still try and do D, A and D, and then hit one of those buttons. It's kind of a giant pain in the ass. So, I might be switching to a controller. We'll see. <clears throat> you know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got the memory links. 
You want to hitch a quick ride or look for yourself? Uh, I'm going to leave now because we're going to skip this. Let's just go. Because I'm trying to do this in a faster manner. Oh my god, this is so slow. I think there's a part where you get to like here and suddenly you're like way back here. You jump faster. Look what we have here. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. <laughs> oh, he's so cynical. I love it. Uh, I have not. Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in the late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... We can't afford to we can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but you don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out I'm not sure which she choose. So what? If she chooses to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. Or not to save herself. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals you know, think you know what's best for others. <clears throat> Do you think this is all about her. Well, it's kind of her life, so I bet it is. <clears throat> what about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone. I'm not going to let her die. It's arrogant, I don't care. going to pick something from the cliffside to pick bring back from her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing right. Nick wanted me to give you this. It's the music box. Wow. He's grumpy.
I'm not really missing any of the story. Because the story... This is all like the boring stuff. The story gets like way better later. It needs to happen already. Yeah! Broken. Prepare. Oh, I'm doing terrible. I think I did that the long way, but it works, so it doesn't really matter. Tell me we're gonna go faster. Back through time faster. Oh no, no, it's barely anything. Go faster. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep. Construction starts in a, just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful having your dream house. Build it such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? It's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get together once in a while. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Can I go get some fresh air? I. been a while, hasn't it? Who knew how hard it was to get across a few cities nowadays? That river's still so quiet. And she actually seems talkative at home. And with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Some fat guy here, huh? Oh hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? Most part, she took it well. Something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits. Yes, lots of them. I used to fool origami animals. A daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with it now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with her condition? Yes. But something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she seriously, what is tabbing me out? I will murder them. All of them. Needs to end. When I ask about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things, and there's no need to get worked up. 
usually when someone says something like that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, you're probably right. Probably, I'm always right. Sounds like me. I'm always right. It's not true. Wait. So even he never knew what was up with those rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit. Oh, I have a feeling this is gonna be a bad idea. Do you think with streamers this could catch on? I've, I I don't know what you're talking about. Who could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? I am. I should myself. In fact, if I join you, what am I Failed joke attempt. Okay. So, uh, I wasn't sure what you were going for. I am so getting you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Uh, you okay there? Instead of just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. <laughs> So I said, hey, that's nothing, right? I totally agreed. There we go. How are they? <laughs> Your mouth. <laughs> Don't you dare. See, I'm doing this by the book. <laughs> oh. worth it. We're almost halfway there. Almost. A bit more to go. To halfway. Oh, and we're already at noon. Fuck. 
I'm not sure I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> you aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground. <laughs> and standing on a damn flagpole. Just dump down. It's not like you'll be hurt. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay up here. God. Hate when this happens. <laughs> I'd have pushed him too. I would have definitely pushed him. They would have been pushing involved. Right off the roof. I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. My ships, I mean. You know how it is now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place needs a lot <sighs> to me, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on the top over here. We'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again. We'll be able to watch over her every day. Just like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too. Oh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. I have this terrible feeling that I'm doing I'm doing badly at this. Yep. Really, really badly.
Ha ha! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Ha ha ha! Puzzles! Lots of puzzles. All the paper rabbits. You know, for a haircut, let's see. This early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Describe the rabbit. It was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. All the bunnies. There's lots of them the thing with this game. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? I don't know you I don't know about you, but I'm getting some immense dish food. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. She is to you? Perhaps, who knows? Like you said, she's not our client. This is the day she started. Yeah, the music is really good. Earlier, this I've uh, this is my second time going through it, and earlier, I, I suddenly remembered what the ending was, and I was like, "Why did I decide to play this game?" <laughs> it's such a good ending, but bad all at the same time. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the vault. I'm totally missing something. What am I missing? Uh, I got that rabbit already. What am I missing? Something. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's why I was like, why, why did I decide to do this? Oh, it was the piano. I don't know why I thought it. This thing upstairs. Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for it. <laughs> oh, you can't even get it through the door. True. Oh, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everyone. <laughs> It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode either. It sounds pretty epic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but 
But I wanted to I wanted to play it for everyone. And uh, hey, Zaref, how's it going, man? Um, because it is such a good story. And so I figured I could do it in one shot. I mean, it took me four hours last time. I'll probably do it a little faster this time. So that's the hope. I, last time I played it, I spent a lot of time doing really ridiculous things like running around, doing various, looking for various things that just didn't need to be done. So this time, that's why I figured I could do it a little faster because I'm, I, I know not to do those things. where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Oh... Uh, Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw it? Can you throw this as far as where Anya is at? I don't know. I'm gonna try. Would you? I think this memory is too far from the last. Then we be connected, probably. Why did she cut her hair, anyways? I like it long. There we go.
Here we go. Oh man, almost halfway. Almost halfway. We're getting there. Everyone with it is a different. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. It's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, see? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. You know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I'm good at it because acting is the only option I have. This is the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. New today? No. What are you reading there? The, em the Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a, when I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. I know your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm. I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? What is wrong with reading children's books? That's a good question. Comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one.
What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh. Do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um. I don't. We're gonna, we're gonna go with. I don't know the answer, so I'm just gonna make something up. Cobra. There we go. Yay! There we go. <sighs> back further. Go back really far. Oh, that was decently far. Not crazy far, but decently far. All right. Oh, yeah. I think we can finish this. I think we got this. Ah, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. It's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. So they get worse. <laughs> Alright. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I 
understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Alright. They're gonna get it on in a lighthouse. I have no idea. But it seemed like an appropriate joke since they apparently just got married. So they're gonna dance in the lighthouse apparently. That's what's going down. Promise to love and to comfort, to honor and keep, in sickness and in health, for as long as we shall live. To this man before you, for husband, which parents love to comfort, to keep, to honor and keep, in sickness and health, for as long as goes to live. Yes! Promise me. I now pronounce you must be wife. And gentlemen, I present to you Miss, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Taking it moment by moment. Oh, I better go see your aunt. What's she doing? Thanks for coming. I will. So proud of Joey. Oh, that's my grandpa's name. Passed away before I was born. Mom calls me by it as a nickname. Come here, you never told me about it. I'd rather you call me John. Do you have against this? Anyways, I mean, sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, 
Is that rabbit? I think this is the source of all those paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You were the woman here. I'll be convinced of that. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you're... You do a cordless bungee jump. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for a terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Wow! Or, you know, something <laughs> equally pretentious. <laughs> That's so terrible. Horses! I'm not a fan of horses. I'm just not. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I will not ride the horse. There we go. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. She's never done it before by herself. It'll be fine. I'm a child. <laughs> this is about nineteen percent more than I can handle. What a moron.
Thanks. Never yeah, speak of what just happened. Okay, where do I find them now? Uh, this one's gonna be rough. There they are. Sweetness. Alright. But that's not what I just... But I want to do this. Yes, we reach a consensus on the results. Fortunately, like many cases of pervasive development disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now, just don't elope with it. Stack. Now, you two a couple. Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. So I see. Uh, I can give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything on settling in the relationship? No. So I'd also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called a queen therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe, I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. Is there anything at all that makes you uncomfortable? Just let us know. Thank you. Explains the ones in the house. Just 
a bit longer, they'll be calling for you soon. Ah, there it is. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. It looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. <laughs> Don't hate on the platypus. That thing is awesome. Who doesn't love... Okay, they're kind of weird, but they're still pretty awesome. Just gonna say. about the platypus. <laughs> the, the evolutionary mystery that is the platypus, I should say. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how far back we made it. Yeah. Getting there. I don't know. I can't believe he wants paid to see this crap. <laughs> no, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. <laughs> that's, a, that's a statement. Uh, you go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. Wow. <sighs> but that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. I talked to no emo teenager. That's not even a full sentence. <laughs> Let's just go look for mementos. Uh oh. Okay, I got worried if, like, stopped for a second. What are you doing? 
Third person you've removed here. Hey, it's not like it's permanent. I'm looking for beetles. Getting stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well to the kid, I see. <laughs> oh man, they're so terrible to each other. I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. <laughs> in the same movie in the same room. Huh. That's an interesting concept. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Let's back, head back in there. I feel like I should make a clever remark. <laughs> well, let's go for our, hope our ride's waiting for us in there. The platypus again. Always the platypus. <laughs> Mostly just for convenience, but hey. <laughs> This wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened, no one will know, and everyone will think you're cool. What if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. Or... Or says yes, but really means no. Quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. <laughs> I'm so not prepared for this. I don't think I ever worried about some uh, a female throwing something at me or at my face when asking them out. Um, it was that was never a concern of mine. I, th I feel like that's very non-legitimate. 
Okay, okay. Hey, what are you? Shh. Um, hello? Ooh. Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you... Never mind. cool platypus you got there what are you suggesting that I should <laughs> this is this a thing <laughs> is this a thing that people do you carry helmets around in case people throw encyclopedias at your face book about what's no oh I think it's great this kid's really bad at talking to girls uh, lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Hansel Lynn's lighthouses in the country left. <laughs> Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Well, it, it may have been a thing in the game, I'm just saying, like, who does that? Ugh. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say, you want to catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay, I'll give you t time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, uh, how about Saturday at 8? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> I guess we'll work out the details later. I'll just... Dude's face palming again. What? What are you looking at me for? I'm gonna call out how utterly awkward that was. Just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. I suppose if you look at it from the right angle... No, not really, never mind. <laughs> the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and been like, Hey, you, go out. Me, you now. Wow. Caveman like. Breaking it down like a caveman. It's exactly what women want. <laughs> it's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you did. <laughs> so, did you throw a cycl encyclopedia in your face? Did you shut up? <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel loved. <laughs> I can't believe you got me to make this, take this stupid class. Come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good at it if you practice, you know. Right after this class, I'm never picking up a brush again.
Three bars of memory, okay. Anyone? Anyone at all? River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. He made he made sale on August third of fourteen ninety two from the Spanish city of which was founded in thirteen twenty two. Holy crap! I only asked for the date. And now I have three. Have near photographic memory. Not really, though I think their memory is often fairly strong. Are rectangles in his head. I need one more and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh wait. There's the room that was locked. Oh, it's cafeteria. Alright. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy, deformed duck toy. It's not creepy, they're awesome! It's not deformed duck, it's a platypus. The heck's a platypus? Quit making up words. <laughs> uh, that really makes me laugh a lot. Uh, probably shouldn't. Anyways, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't it cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and gods? <laughs> That's so harsh. Talk about my high school life. Uh, well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Like Nick. I just just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. Oh, he wants to be a special snowflake. But how the heck would you would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just sad. Uh, She's something strange. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. <laughs> isn't that what everyone wants is just to be a special snowflake isn't that like the, the thing so you want her for what she has but not for her 
That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. Show some micro. Tells you. So it's probably the bag, is my guess. Wait. So this guy is some kind of human hogging hipster? Oh god! Oh god! That statement! <laughs> That's disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. In high school, everyone's a bastard. That's pretty true. <laughs> but hey, welcome to the club. Is this what he told her? Cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began making rabbit. Those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this was from... This from who knows how long. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I am not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. It is, but I'm missing a thing. I, I'm missing a orb thingy. I need five. Tell me it's in the platypus. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left a big scar on his mind. Fair enough. Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. <laughs> so he's he's done Hadouken and a Hulk smash. We're totally getting a fifth. If he doesn't do or if he doesn't do a third, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> oh, that's that's harsh. That's harsh. <laughs> Oh man. All right. Back in time. Getting there. We're almost there. How much time we got? What time is it? Oh, not even one yet. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Have a nice day, Joey. I feel you like growing up so fast. What if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it in, it's in it. Yeah. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? <laughs> it's a fantastic game. Get in there. How you doing, man? So jealous. I think Cutie's sticking around for the end. I want to see how how emotion how emotional she thinks this is. That's what I want to know. Also, I don't know if Blaze has watched the whole thing. I hope that he has, because again, I want to know. I want to find out how, what people think of this ending.
Yeah. <laughs> I want to know if anybody cries, really. That's what I want to know. Because <laughs> I've been through this before. I just wanted to play it for people. And, uh... It's, it is, it's a rough ending. I'm not even going to lie. There were, uh... There was definitely some welling in the eyes for me. It was it was rough. I've got two of five. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Clock. Clock's gonna be one of them. There we go. I'm doing terrible at this. This is not going to go well for me. If I keep this up. There we go. That'll do it. I don't care what its ideal is. <laughs> I got it, and that's all that matters. Oh, when you... When the, okay, if you're a crier, like you just... You might want to grab some tissues, because the ending of this, is it, it really is. It's rough. I mean, this is this. you should know that this is the second person that's come in now and said that the ending's really rough. So, <laughs> and said that there was, there was crying. So just, uh, just be prepared for it now, because it is. It is harsh. It smells like roadkill again. What or where are we? Oh yeah, I remember this. I'm not making any promises. I barely remember the ending. It's been quite a while since I've played it, so it still might get me. <laughs> Because I, I do remember there being like some tears last time. Well, it, it still might get me. We'll see. Uh, yeah, but why is it going? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. Uh, there must be a malfunction within the machines. Gee, again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in maintenance. Don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it, there's nothing we can do. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Shame, I was actually looking forward to it. Act two, please play here. Uh,
all that's left is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to the earlier memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. You can make Lily disappear. That means you can alter this world. Make things happen and fill my wish now. That would work if this were our one true set of memories. I mean, is this then? What am I? It's just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare the canvas in a logically con consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would be written to the real Johnny. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. Don't be so sensitive, he's not really, no. I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. I like being ahead. All we need to do is pass this desire. Line up two matching mementos on the edges. Oh, okay. Uh, so, it's that one. Rabbit here. Book.
Wait here, I'll go send the desire signal again. Transfer successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. It's early memories. Let's go. I prefer our movies a bit more. What else then? This is ridiculous. Now swim to Venus, swim to the rings of Saturn, perhaps just the back side of the moon. I believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential to be you, or you, perhaps you just don't want to go to the moon. Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. I 
I shall go over some facts about the moon. It's old. Travel from the moon to here, and you drive a flying car it takes days. Hey, Summer, why? Why are you? Why? Why is there an ellipsis, cutie? And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous, and we all know the rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you are a brunette. It's <laughs> ridiculous. More ellipsis! All the ellipsis? All of them? She's just gonna keep putting more and more ellipsis in, in my chat. If we talk in ellipsis all day, where nothing will get said, and I will be confused. Why do I just see broken images? Oh, I know why, because I'm on Deepbot. What's up? Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. I do try pretty hard. Let's see if it works. Of course. Be right back. Back. Utter failure. <laughs> hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as, well... Oh my god, he's just gonna make ridiculous claims throughout like every single memory. <laughs> Excellent healthcare plans. It's true. And your spouse. Free party rides in space! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wedding, good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for your honeymoon? Wow! It says so much and yet so little at the same time, and I, uh, ellipsises need context. They can't exist on their own and say anything at all. isn't working. It's ridiculous. Professionals, I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. Maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known we, we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. As valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully, we can hang in till then. I do have some calls to make. I know. Somebody make that a quote. That's becoming a quote. <clears throat> Because of this game, we're adding what the cucumber as a quote. <laughs> it's totally gonna be a thing. I don't think either one of my mods know how to use the quote system. <laughs> I should, should probably put some instructions on that sometime. <laughs> 
for the machine have no effect. Johnny's registered wish, code of the moon successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless in secondary condition for the gyre, desire was changed in the process. Only then, the desire produced two different outcomes at two different points in time. The word choices in, the, in this are pretty fantastic. It's it's very well written. Uh, there's no denying that River played an important role, though. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. Out of all things, what exactly caused it? Just what exactly did you do? Smell that squirrel, yeah. and over all, or you can smell the squirrel and over all the way over here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. He's not even in here. Crap. Better not take me very... Uh, oh, hey, there we go. And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter. Where'd you get that coffee? You speaking with headquarters? Yes. I'll fill you in after. Oh, shh. Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There's a bunch more of them, and in the basement, too. Ah, hmm. Turn on all the lights. That will fix the game. Be all set. Lady Stapp, why should I talk to you? Shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Uh, it's not an everyday circumstance, I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, sit down first. Sit your ass down already. Oh, is there something you wanted to ask? 
two treasure. Oh, I mean, it's not bad. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. How did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. Uh, what happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch deployed overseas. Sorry to hear that. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. I saw my ad. Uh, off and offered me a job I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do and eventually I received aid. But by then Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place as well. Uh, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, I was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell him about John? I don't know, I'll probably make something up. But it's no use, kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well, it's the nature of life, there's nothing to hide. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose? It's a shame, though, I'm going to miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Or Johnny fell unconscious. He told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted to tell thanks for him. So, thank you. Dude better be done on the phone. What is it? It seems like a little Johnny here has some hidden records. Old days. Hidden records. Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently during his youth, he was, admin he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what, and what luck they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. This leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us from his early memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. <laughs> so what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire. Okay. Then what are we waiting for? Just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger. Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memories. And we'll need to give it to John uh, for him to stimulate his memories internally. What do we know of that? We've only got a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah. Back to square one. You know, this job has been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going to go out and get some fresh air. Forgot my coffee.
It's your fault for running it over. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one where we were stuck at. It was the same smell. The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system. Let's see what this means. Um, he means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it to stimulate... We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I think I'm missing some vital context info. This is good. It's awesome now. Just need to go fetch the piece of roadkill. Wait, why should I fetch it? You were the one that ran it over. Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> Miserable bastard. <laughs> Help, Sydney. I. I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> They aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably... That'll probably change after this. <laughs> That's hilarious. I ran it over, so you get to go get it. <laughs> Fantastic. I probably would have done the same thing. I'd be like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Your turn. Oh man, I don't think we're going to finish this, because I, I am going to have to get ready for work at some point. I'll need at least a bit of time to do that, so I might have to finish it after work. Might have to be a thing. Maybe, I don't know, I might finish it. I think we've gotten through the long parts of it. It doesn't take much longer after this. Kind of things I do for my job. There are like two bathrooms. Container with roadkill odor. Awesome. That's what I want. I want one of those containers. I think everybody should. Probably not. I mean, can we just up the ante and make it like a, a, a skunk that's been ran over? That's just the worst. If we're gonna do, if we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Let's go all out, right? That's the idea. I've, I've been feeling retro. Wow. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. <laughs> I would too. I don't blame you at all. It's terrible. <laughs>
Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. No, this might be your last chance, you two. Alright, let's do this shit. Shine their lights at the other lighthouse. And at me. My hair. Oh, that's awesome. It's like, yeah, you know, like this part. It's like really sticking up. That is awesome this morning. Glad you guys told me. I don't care. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose we all can do. All we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready. Oh yeah, open that roadkill smell. You're no hero, you're just being a moron. <laughs> Why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. Come on, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. <laughs> Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it. <laughs> Helping you cheat through the entrance exams. <clears throat> I think we're okay for now. <clears throat> and your carrot cake sucks. And the last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. You know what? I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron. You know that I did, right? <laughs> you deserved that. Oh, do I just touch the soccer ball? That's probably what I'm supposed to do. Let's touch the soccer ball.
Seems like peaceful enough. Now, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? What? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Well, you're not wrong, and it does suck. Wow, fabulous sound, I know, right? You've got to take in there one day. Time on left's getting out of hand. Look how many of them are here. Hmm. Oh jeez, look at the time. I better get going to the store. So just take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will see you around. It's the end of the road. You were saying. Hey, I was wrong after all. I mean, in this place, it's so peaceful. Only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be. Shit. Oh, we need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this when we were never... Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. No! Uh, what? Didn't you see his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Hello! Joey! Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey? Wow! What? It's so messed up. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. <coughs> At least Johnny had the beta blockers, beta blockers to erase his memory, not like he, he remembers it much. Fuzzily, I'm like, not, not erased. Somehow in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took beta blockers. 
She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least I don't really think uh, she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here, let's move on. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed, uh, plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animals. It's about a group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Eh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul ba big bad aliens. They're all like, rawr, rawr. And then they pick up lasers. That's all pew pew. Wow, that's a lot of pews. Uh, stop that. Uh, he... Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How are you going to be rich if you give away all your books for free? Free for kids? The parents will still have to pay, of course. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm sure that the parents will be thrilled to give you money. I never really read any of them. I never really got into that. It was a very... Uh, Still mad about the other day. Oh come on! I I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happens to your What happened to your prize, anyways? I gave it away. To well, look, it's just not about that day. Yeah, you know, mom always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas, and last Easter, and the time we went fishing, and okay, okay, you know what, you can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make? Who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. <laughs> Let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> yes, in the rain. Kind of carnival, huh? So have a look around. How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? <laughs> Go already. Oh, you ruined it. I think I would have a hard time speaking in questions, or would I? Stupid toy, the train. 
Can train left. Do you want to exchange your press for a teddy bear instead? No. I just want the train. No. Giant, don't make a scene. Joey wanted fair and square, didn't he? But I want two. He just won first. I'll play, play the two. As your brother is, Johnny. Don't block the stand now. I'm going to call you Dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. <laughs> This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my. I'm getting you both treats. Where's my tip? <sighs> I don't even know where I'm going. Uh-oh. I might have broken the game. Crap! I... <sighs> How am I supposed to... But I don't want... I just... But you, you're throwing me the wrong direction. I can't... Wow, this has never happened to me before. There we go. <clears throat> it's okay, it's okay. Save the day. You got this. Just gonna skip all this text here. No tip for you. They are the ovaries of the plant. <laughs> oh, plant and contain seeds. That's what it is. Tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy. Uh, I happen to enjoy cooking in groups. Some of us take it very seriously. Absolutely not. Wow. They're fake. 
It's how people blew off Steam before FPS were invented. <laughs> how primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Uh, where'd you read about that? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Oh no, we're gonna play this game. I don't remember this. Forty-eight successful hits. One hundred percent. There we go. Now I can move on. Yay! I was only slightly concerned that we weren't going to be able to. never understand you. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one. Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Okay, but only at the playground, not too far. Oh, the bag. Okay. So she really did. She just, like... She killed him, and she just, like, completely made his brother be him. That's messed up. Oh. Five bars. Okay. Cool. can do that. Sweet. Who listened to their mom as a child anyways? I know I sure didn't. What's up? Almost finished. <whistles> Thanks for the host, man. I think you get to see the ending. I have just about a half an hour left, and I have to, like, at that point, I have to stop and get ready for work, like, so quickly. <laughs> There's a couple other things I'll have to do as well, so... Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place, but let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. 
It was just, it was just an expression. Yeah, okay. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd go stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. The thing is, though, Mom didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. It's all good. But when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. <laughs> So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> that's actually a fantastic start to a caffeine addiction, I think. <clears throat> Compared to most people's that are, like, started in college while they are <laughs> trying to study. <laughs> Terrible, I know. <laughs> it's a shame, though. <laughs> All these nice memories lost and never found, and who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Join me. Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? It's a lot of things to lose to caffeine. <clears throat> Just look at them. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, I did too. <clears throat> this is. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? Yeah, by the way, here comes the ending that makes everyone cry. Just so you know, we are going to finish this. And uh, you are probably going to cry. <laughs> uh, I say it makes them want to go... Oh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hmm. What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once... To have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. 
they all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Eh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are? My dad said that they're giant burning spears of gas. I bet he's just making that up. Why would he lie to me? That's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, that stuff. <laughs> kangaroos are totally made up. So is the platypus. <laughs> Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like, a constellation? So, I really hope, the for the people who have been watching this the entire time, they're getting, like, all of the connections that were just made throughout the entire game. That are being made in this single conversation. Um, of other things, never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah. We'll make the best constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. We'll start in three, two, one, and I see it <laughs> in the sky. But where in the sky? Think big. Bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? There are the two ears and head. What else? And there's two feet. Yes, what else? And the moon. The moon is the big round belly. So what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow. Must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there and they want to talk to them but they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying all they can do is shine their lights from afar so that's what they do they shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me why you because one day i'm going to befriend one of them that bag. What's in it? Oh, it's a prize I won from whack -Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. Of course, it's the platypus. It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. <laughs> That's a great way to describe a platypus. <laughs> I see it. It looks so strange. I wish I could have. I could win one myself. It's more calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. One. Yeah. I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy.
Oh yeah, I forgot my ha my hacky sack in the bag. Maybe it'll help. Suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. It's our job. Contracted you. So I've got about 15 minutes, and then I, I have to go. So we'll see. I know there's a part next that has to, that takes a bit, but we'll see. Contract is ascended to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she. I know, but. We are legally bound. So, basically, the entire. His entire life, she was trying to remind him of his childhood that he couldn't remember. Which is ridiculous. And incredibly sad. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. Appeal to Johnny would be happier to not go to the moon. We'd be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we have to know... Does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her, and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her. And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it? How? running out of time. Just trust me. Don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying. This won't... Just 
Zombies! do anything. Uh, that's not good. I can't get the game to do anything. Crap. Okay, I know what to do. Hold on, give me just a moment. <laughs> this might suck. Oh god, if we lose everything, that's gonna suck. <laughs> that would be the worst. But there should be an auto save. I hope. We're going to hope on that. If there isn't, I'm just going to go to work and I will play it up to that point and we can finish later. But there should be. Yes! <laughs> oh, i got to play that whole hallway bit again. Oh my god, if you could talk faster. Faster. <laughs> Scroll faster. Faster text. Oh, it's I'm like right at the end too. That's what's killing me. This is absolutely killing me. I'm literally like right at the end of the game. I know I can complete this. knew better than that. To really risk. I'm going! Now I gotta fight the zombies. And hopefully it works this time. We have to hope that it works. Crap! <laughs> I li I do enjoy the Plants vs. Zombie reference. That's kind of fun. Also, the music sounds like Plants vs. Zombies. I don't know if you guys have ever played it. So I've got Plants. There we go.
<laughs> now there's boulders. Is this Indiana Jones? Ah! <laughs> It's just a loop. There we go. Basically putting all the memories together. doing stuff Johnny wants but we know what he doesn't want and what he doesn't want is exactly what you were accelerating and it's already done now. This is way out of line. Uh, I'm sorry. This just won't go away. You keep resetting the memory. At this point, it's the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Just one last thing I need to do. Why are you fighting so hard for this? Fuck all the good tables. They're all the same. Should we try it? So the kitchen smell better.
I'll be back while you guys watch this. How pathetic all of this trouble is for some girl. You know, good to have you back. Yeah, uh, yeah. To the moon. A novel by Joey Wiles. Thrill. Um.
His mirror is still very small on the side. I'm so gonna be late for work. <laughs> I'm finishing this shit. There's not much going on now, but I'll see it live one day. I half expected to see on that screen. Yeah, Zordon. Centuries moon landing. What's not? And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Yes, yeah, the spinning thing. It's not right here either. Come on, I don't have just left. Your records are excellent, but we'll have to monitor your stats closely in the coming sessions. Real NASA has bigger elevators. <laughs> ah! I didn't want to go to the first floor. Shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Whoa, yeah. You know, what's the best part of it? What? Very on top and bottom of the shuttle. To anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed, especially it's <laughs> Oh, that's funny as hell. When it finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah. Only time. There was a door on the first floor that we couldn't see. That's where we had to go last, yeah. One three on that floor, but it's probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs after all. If of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. Odd though to hear birds and see none. That was a good chance. This is the break room. Mission Specialist. Nice to meet you. Even if he did, take more than that, more than just a few years to become an astronaut.
Oh, I'm John. I just moved her. What she does with her life is still up to her. It's based on public data. Leaves. That's where his data is. Individuals. Not recorded in public domain. It all came to But even then, that merely increases the odds. Oh, yeah, labor work. How are you sure that I didn't work? I wasn't. It could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. I still have two spare helmets right here. She needs some company. I was wrong. Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah.
Beleza, hein? All right, well, I have to get to work, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, I think most of you saw the entire thing, so 